Hey, guys, how are you doing? I hope you're staying safe. I'm Scuba, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about studio stuff. Mr. Kyle Geiger, the big man, asked me to answer a specific question, which I believe was submitted by one of you. Uh, and the question was, what equipment do you need to get started with producing? And there's, there's a re there is a really short answer to this, and the short answer is you really don't need any equipment at all apart from a laptop. Now, if you're like me, your Instagram feed will be jam-packed with videos of people with enormous modular rigs and vintage synths and all kinds of stuff which costs an absolute fucking fortune. And with some of them you do wonder where that money comes from, but I mean, that's another story. Uh, but the reality is you don't need that stuff to get started at all and you don't really need that stuff to make good music. That's a common misconception too, is that you to make good stuff, you need like all that expensive gear. Um, I mean, you, maybe you can start off with nothing, but you need the good, you know, the expensive gear to, to make good music, but this is not true at all. Um, I'm someone who spent years and years and years working completely in the box. Uh, I actually originally started off with a sampler and a really old PC running Windows 95 um, and a little mixing desk. And I made my first tunes, uh, the first releases that came out just with that, basically with, with a, without a computer that could run plugins. Um, but then I quickly moved on to, um, like I said, working in the box, working uh, using a, you know, a decent quality computer, but nothing amazing, um, and just using software. And I made, you know, four albums like that with really very little prior training or knowledge, um, just, you know, by reading stuff and trusting my ears um, and using the software. Um, and that was, you know, going back, you know, 10 or 15 years. And now, um, you know, with the latest version of Ableton and all the you know, associated little bits of kit, software kit around that, really that's all you need to get started. And, you know, frankly, you can make a track with GarageBand, you know, it's like the, the barriers to entry now are so low, the quality is so good of all this software um, that you really can do that. So don't feel in any way intimidated by these huge racks of modular kit which cost thousands and thousands of euros to get your hands on and i realize i'm slightly uh hypocritical here because i have a whole bunch of synths and stuff behind me and i have moved on a little bit with my studio um and there's a lot of stuff in here which is strictly completely unnecessary but it's quite fun to play with and that's the thing after you've been doing it for a while you do kind of start looking at looking around for different sources of inspiration um and you've just got to find that inspiration where you can you know there's like there's no right or wrong way to that part of the, cre the creative process either so yeah in summary you don't need anything you don't need shit you just need a musical ear and the motivation to get started and make good stuff you know it really is as simple as that you can do it don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it but honestly just get stuck in there and make it happen man yeah do it anyway thanks to kyle for doing this whole thing i think it's really cool and i hope you guys are all safe indoors and keeping healthy and self-isolating and getting through this crazy shit as best you can because it is difficult for everyone and um, yeah, I'm finding it a bit weird too. You can see I'm in my studio, but uh, I'm pretty lucky to be in here. You know, there's no one else here, so I'm not, not around anyone. So it's, it's kind, of, kind of okay for me, but I completely empathize with everyone who's stuck completely in a tiny little flat and just having to, you know, cope the best they can. So yeah, stay safe guys, and I'll see you all soon, hopefully.